increíble realmente lo que sucede y lo que somos testigos. Cantidad de vehículos pasando ya con la marcha extraordinaria. Ya mismo, bebé, ya vienen, ahí vienen las policías. Good evening, guys. Good evening. Today we had uh, a new, another breakdown. But I think it's um, lucky Liu is feeling something. So I would like to make um, a recap for you. I would like to to say what is the, what is the history moment right now that we are living. So in Ecuador, uh, the president declared state of emergency over strike because um, there is a problem. The government increased the price of the fuel was uh, let's one, say one dollar fifty one dollar eighty and now yeah. it's two dollars fifty so it's a huge increase uh, of uh, the price of the fuel so people are protesting on on the roads some some roads are completely blocked so f the last week one of the the border was closed because of the venezuelan people they cannot go into Ecuador without a visa from yeah, Colombia. We are in touch with the matinees. So I would like to show some picture that they are sending us. I don't know if you can see, but there is fire uh, on the road for the blocks. Last week uh, they were on the principal uh, border in Ipiales and they say there were people uh, throwing rocks. Uh, putting fire, so really dangerous situation. Today we spoke with some people from Ecuador and they say please don't go into Ecuador, just wait four or five days. So I think everything is happened for a reason and Lucky Liu is just trying to say us stop. So <laughs> And plus we really? were going we were driving uh, to El Deserto de Tatacoa, a desert in the middle of nowhere. And this was we just turned off the car, fill up the tank to go into the desert uh, when we try to start the car again uh, it didn't start uh, yeah. so imagine if uh, we didn't start at uh, this time and it didn't break this time it would break uh, in the middle of the de desert uh, we would be alone we would so was like a really good 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 uh, message uh, from Lucky Liu. Yeah, and the desert of Tatacoa was our last stop before heading to Ecuador in yes. our plans you know I think we are receiving signals from Lucky Liu, we are receiving signals for all the pe from all the people. Um, so we think we will spend other four to five days in Colombia at least. Other four to five days in Colombia at least. We will stop the video here for two minutes, guys, because we have to say something to you. This video was recorded. 10 days ago was the 5th of October. We decided to stop this video and to be with you live because today is the 15th of October to give you some updates about the situation in Ecuador because we think it's really important that you know what is happening, what happened in Ecuador during the last three weeks. Yeah, yes. also because back home in Italy people were saying we don't know anything about Ecuador. So medias, they are not uh, talking about it. Yeah, and this is affected also our travels. We just want to be real time with you guys. And the next two vlogs that you will see will be about our amazing experience in Tatacoa Desert. So we'll enjoy this uh, next week. We took our time into the desert because yeah. we know we knew we couldn't go to Ecuador. Uh, the situation were really bad. Uh, so we say, okay, let's go and spend uh, one week into the desert. Uh, we will have no Wi-Fi, but we we, we can do a lot of stuff uh, and uh, relax a little bit. Uh. Yes, but when we came back from the desert, we just saw that things in Ecuador were just escalating every day was worse was worse and so it was just not the strike about the fuel price but what happened everything started on the 3rd of October the my birthday. birthday when president Lenin Moreno cut uh, petrol subsidies uh, then had been in place in the country for 40 years so imagine the reaction of the people and overnight the price of the diesel increased more than double 
and the price of the fuel increasing 30% were in, involved in the protesting. In the beginning, just transportation unions like taxis, buses, trucks, they organized a strike, blocking roads and highway, protesting about the fuel. But in a second moment, also the um, indigenous people just started to protest in the streets. And uh, if in the beginning was just uh, burning some tires, uh, really fast uh, it changed to violence uh, yeah. and... Uh, yeah, yeah, the protests have at times turned really, really violent with poli police using tear gas, throwing bombs to the people. At the same time, demonstrators using violence yeah. with police and with Military, innocent people. Uh, so it was a mess. Yeah. Violence, violence, people died on the streets. We decided to get in contact with locals, with people living in Ecuador or stuck in Ecuador. It's safe for us to just come and drive through and they say... People start saying uh, here it's totally crazy, it's really dangerous, we are inside houses without getting out uh, since uh, two weeks, uh, there is no food anymore, there is no fuel, there is no water, everything is stuck. Uh, they made a curfew that after 3 p.m. nobody could uh, get out of her houses. Last uh, Saturday, yeah. If anyone uh, were in the streets uh, after 3 p.m. Uh, were arrested, uh, they sent us a lot of horrible videos, uh, terrible videos uh, about what was going on uh, in the country, so they said wait in, in uh, Colombia, don't come in Ecuador right now, wait. Stay where you are because it's not safe here, you will risk your life. So for us it's always safety first. At the same time we spoke with our families, our families say come back, come back Italy, of course, you know. <laughs> yeah, they are always drastic, they are, <laughs> every excuse is uh, good to say come back home because but of course, they miss they really, us. Yeah, but they are really scared, you know, we are in a different country and different uh, continent and for us the situation was bad because we had like uh, other five six days insurance we can just uh, yeah we can make other insurance for the car but we have just one month's visa left for Colombia so we have to rush to Ecuador um, when a situation like this is really close to a war a civil war we said probably this situation could last one week more, 10 days, one year, seven months, who knows? So we were saying, okay, we were trying to find another road, another option, an alternative way to go to Peru. Yeah, but, but it, it, it was, it was not possible. like uh, we had to go back to Venezuela and try to go to Brazil through Venezuela or tr to Peru through Venezuela. The, but the borders to Venezuela were all closed, so we could, couldn't yeah. go that way. We tried to see if there was any river that we could travel on a river with uh, uh, putting Lucky Liu on a boat uh, to get to the Amazons uh, and get to Brazil and try to go that way. And but was all the rivers were dry, we couldn't do that solution. And, and people said to us, you know, Colombia is not a, a worse place to get stuck. And, Yes, of course, it's not a bad place to be stuck, but when you are over landing a place, a country, you have a schedule and we were stuck for the reason, you know, for the truck, a lot of weeks in Medellin, in Medellin. so we really say, okay, it's beautiful to stay in Colombia, but on the, on the other side, we want to go ahead, we want to explore other countries, so we had a really bad mood in the last few days. But then, what happened? On Sunday, we saw the news and there was like a light. Yes, a light. because uh, the indigenous communities uh, organized a meeting with the president of Ecuador to discuss, uh, to try to find uh, a solution. A compromise, something that could stop this horrible situation of violence. Uh, and, and protesting. You so know? we spend all night uh, awake uh, waiting uh, to see the results. the results and this is what happened. In first place I would like to greet our president Mr. Moreno as an Amazonian woman on behalf of all Amazonian women I want to say that we have come from the jungle walking leaving our kids at home, leaving our chores at home because we want 
a sovereign and dignified state. We want the Ecuadorian state to respond to the needs of peoples and nationalities of Ecuador. Good night, beautiful people. Ecuador appeals law and enforce subsidies in deal to stop protests. We were waiting for this moment since days. Ecuador government has agreed to restore fuel subsidies in deal with indigenous leaders just few hours ago. It seems that it's finally it's over. It's like 1 a.m. in the morning and the deal was postponed so we were waiting so bad after you know all day long because the first meeting was at 3 p.m. yesterday and guys uh, I was crying I was crying Luca too because we are happy for the country we are happy for the people and we are happy for ourselves that we probably we are not 100% sure we can continue travel south we are free to go yeah because we were stuck here in colombia our visa it's uh, it's almost expired our insurance for colombia is almost yeah. expired so we were afraid uh, you know to be stuck here and uh, we don't know what to do so we hope now they 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 clean the roads uh, and they stop uh, all the messes going on there so we we can keep going south. We have people that are uh, sending us messages from, from Ecuador, they are stuck in Ecuador since two weeks in Cuenca, they are saying us that people partying and celebrating it on the road. Yeah, everybody is uh, horning uh, their, <laughs> their klaxon, uh, their cars, uh, and it's like when they win uh, the World Cup, uh, uh, yeah. soccer World Cup, uh, everybody is uh, it's happy, they're making parties, so it's good news, good news guys, they're really happy. Yes. We are free to go ahead, of course we will wait a few days and until the situation will be more stable. Some of the roads are open again, uh, the country is receiving food, fuel, uh, water, any kind of supplies yes. uh, that was blocked. Uh, so, we were really really scared. Uh, because as we said, uh, there are some bureaucracies, uh, some documents, uh, yes. some legal stuff. Uh, every time you cross uh, into a country, you have a temporary importation permit. Uh, so if you don't get out of the country in that uh, amount of time that you have, uh, they will confiscate your vehicle, you will get a lot of fines, uh, bad thing can happen. So. Yeah. We don't talk uh, about this stuff, uh, but we were nervous. We just want to update you with uh, what is happening in Ecuador. It's really important that you know. Give you an idea of the things uh, that overlanders, that travelers, yes. that van lifers uh, that want to cross uh, uh, countries, continents like we're doing, uh, they have to deal and they have to face uh, sometimes. Yeah, and it was so difficult to find Wi-Fi, good Wi-Fi. That's why we spent one week without uploading videos, we couldn't answer to all your comments. Now yeah. we are trying to get back and answer all your comments. Yeah, we will show you now what happened that day with our starter. We had some problem with the starter again because uh, probably was not fixed good in Barranquilla. We need to find a new starter. For now it's fixed, but see what happened that day. <laughs> Crazy day. Jorge. So what I try to do is to connect uh, these two and uh, when I connect these two it makes a connection, spark. a spark and I see, I hear the tack not here but under where the starter is. Okay guys, so we stop at the gas station to refill the, the truck and the starter is not working. So we ask for the help of Jorge and Eva again, they help us. But yeah, we need to call a mechanic that is here, close to here. We try to recharge the battery, but it's not the battery with the help of Jorge. We know now that it's definitely the starter. We are waiting for the mechanic. 
We are just 40 kilometers from Tatako Desert. Okay, the mechanic is here. Let's see. That's the mechanic. Okay, so a quick update. We got here in this place with the motorcycle and uh, the guy was making really strange roads because uh, the, the motorcycle it's without insurance and without papers, I don't know. So we couldn't get caught by police. And uh, now he's opening the, the piece and trying to fix it. Sara, it's still there at the gas station. Wow. the starter Está muerto. Sí, debería funcionar. Estoy ocupado, mi amor. Acá, mi amor, en el taller, acá en el taller. So one of these ones was broken here. As you can see, there is the piece here. It was broken there. There is like a cortocircuito. Anastasio is fixing our starter. We had a tamale with um, uh, beef meat, carne de res, uh, it and, uh, uh, arroz, uh, y papa. So there is uh, rice, uh, potatoes, uh, and um, uh, carrots, uh, and other beans. Uh. Let's check if it's working. Time to get back on the bike uh, to bring our starter back to Lucky Liu and Sara. Has been like uh, three hours uh, since we left uh, Lucky Liu, so hopefully soon uh, it's all done. There's Sara, there's Lucky Liu. Voila. <sighs> Thank you to Jorge that uh, even today he helped us out. He was connected with us. Uh, as soon as the car didn't start, uh, we started asking him what should we do. So guys, everything is good. At the end, it was just a small problem. Because of the, of the moment, we received a lot of questions asking what is the insurance that we are using. I think it's really important uh, to be safe, uh, safety first. Uh, and uh, you never know, you, you can plan everything, uh, but uh, you will never know what happens. Uh, as we saw in the, in the past, uh, plans uh, doesn't work uh, because there are so many things that you cannot uh, um, plan. plan. <laughs> yes. So in insurance, uh, it's always uh, a good idea. Especially if you are not in your resident country. If you break your leg and you need uh, an ambulance, uh, you need some, somebody who who come and rescue. And we make a lot of activities, we make a lot of sports, we make a... But even if you miss a flight, the insurance we, had, we are using since the beginning of our expedition, of our adventure, is uh, World Nomads Insurance. You will find the link in the description. We are affiliates, so they are not sponsoring the video, but if you will buy, if you want to see the quote and you are using our link, you will help us uh, and we will support our expedition because we will receive a small commission. If you are planning a new travel, yeah. an adventure or a holiday, 
it's uh, it's a good idea just to go there and uh, and yeah. see make a quote and see how much it, it would cost uh, guys thank you very much for watching uh, our video for uh, being uh, with us uh, with the Liu's family yeah no special effects uh, in this video no drone footage but it was really really important for us to share uh, this moment with you but uh, in the next videos of the desert uh, there will be drone footage uh, yeah, and uh, there will be a lot of uh, amazing things going on so stay tuned if you like the video please give us a thumbs up subscribe to our channel we love you guys we appreciate you thank you so much see you in the next one ciao love you ciao